Hey guys, Robert here from Master Guitar Academy. Today I'm going to show you this Hendrix style embellishment idea. And as you know, I love to talk about triads. And this is actually an example of triads in use. I'm going to do some hammer-ons and slides and stuff like that to really embellish these triads to make them sound interesting. So I'm playing in the key of E major. And I'm starting by just hitting the low E string. And then I do an upstroke on the chord. And after that, I'm going to play this. So let's look at what's happening here. We have the E major bar chord here. And I'm starting on the low E string, hammer on, and then go to A string. So we have, and then I'm taking this note and sliding it up here. So the way you can look at this is here's the E major triad. And here is the first inversion it's called of a tri of a major triad. I'm playing this. See, these notes are still here, but now the bass note is here. And that's what's happening when I'm doing this slide. Here, I'm getting this grip here, but I'm embellishing it by playing. So that's on the D string. I let the G string ring, and then I hammer on with the ring finger. And then I hammer on on the A string here to get that sound. And you can play all three strings. If possible, it sounds extra cool, I think. And of course, it's important that you use a hammer on here and then a slide here. That's uh, significant to get the right sound for this. Hit that note and slide it up. And then we do the hammer ons. That's the first idea. And then for the second one, we're going to start out the same way. But then we're going to play this. It's slightly different and it's it has a brighter sound because we're using the, the B and the G strings here. So after we play, we go up to the B string here and play hammer on and pull off and then to the G string. And then the D string and then we do another of these uh, hammer on embellishment things but now on, on the G and B strings. And then switch to the next two strings and play the same hammer on. So that's on the D and the G strings. And then you let the hand slide down. This sounds extra cool, I think, when you do these types of ideas. That after you've done your hammer on for the chord, whatever, whichever one it is, or that you slide down, then you get that kind of a Hendrixy thing, I think. So let's do it together. Here we go. Thank you. 
All right, thanks so much for checking out this lesson. Let me know what you think by adding a comment below. And please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I don't want you to miss out on my future videos. And if you're interested to learn more about triads and how to find these voicings all over the fretboard and how to apply them to common chord progressions, I do have a course on my website and you can find the link in the YouTube description. And if you're interested in learning deeper with me, do consider joining my website masterguitaracademy.com where I have tons of lessons in a variety of styles and difficulty levels and I use SoundSlice which is a, an interactive tablature technology that makes it really easy to see the fingers on the fretboard as well as tab and notation on the screen. The video that I'm playing is synced with the tablature and notation so it's really easy to learn from. Alright, thanks again. I'll see you next time.